Hi, I'm Bonnie Krebs from Art Impressions. I'm actually the owner and the creator of Everything Art Impressions. And today I'm gonna to show you our Windows to the World line. And you are gonna love these because the best thing about them is that they're really quick and easy to do. I mean, that's my favorite part because sometimes you need a card in like five minutes. And when you do, this is the project for you. So um, I'm gonna show you how they work. So really the whole thing about these, this is the, the concept of the Windows to the World is that it's a small image like this and the reveal is on the inside. So you cut open a, um, use the window die and you cut open the opening and then inside you have this beautiful little scene with a sentiment on the outside. And they all work the same way and we have dozens in this line. So there's lots to choose from. There's a lot of holiday images and um, we're always gonna be coming out with more of these because I do love, 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 love this line. So also the other thing about it is that it's really super easy to color. You can use your alcohol-based markers, uh, but if you wanna do it really quick and easy, you can use your watercolor markers. And Honestly, um, I can color this one with four markers. So these are Marvy La Plumes. Um, I'm using four colors. This is a 40, 45 sepia, African violet, Prussian blue, and an olive green. So that's really all it takes. So I'm gonna start out by coloring the image and then we'll um, attach it to a card base later. Okay, so I'm gonna take my four markers and I'm going to add some color to my palette. This is the, um, the olive green, this is the sepia. This is actually the color of dirt. So it's kind of a, um, it's a really important color. Um, I really like it because it's kind of a mix of colors. It's got some green in it, it's kind of a mossy brown and it works really, really well for these kinds of um, images. So I've got my other color in here. This is the Prussian blue, which is that really pretty light blue. Okay, so I'm using a Connoisseur watercolor brush. This is a number four. It works great, holds up really well, and you'll love this brush, especially for these kinds of projects. So I'm gonna take a little of this color. So I've dipped my brush in the water, and I've pinched it off so I don't get too much water. And I, first of all, I should say that I've stamped this uh, in a solvent um, ink pad. So I've used the stays on, and I've stamped it on watercolor paper. This is Strathmore watercolor paper, 140 pound cold press and that's what I'm using, and I've stamped it on the smooth side. So that's really important because there's a lot of detail in here, and we wanna make sure that we get that detail, uh, even though you're stamping on a rougher paper. So use the smooth side, use a solvent base ink pad, so a, something like a stays on, and you'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this color, and I'm just gonna brush it onto my image. So just like this. That's what I love about this, is because it's really, really quick and easy. And you can color these, no, no kidding, in five minutes. Okay, we have finished that and you can see that was really quick and easy. So we're now we're ready to take our image that we've just colored and get that mounted onto our card base. So we're gonna use our little window die. And I love this window die because it's two pieces. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut the opening out of your card first. We're gonna cut that little opening and then there's another die that cuts this little contrasting uh, window out so we can glue that on over the top. So it's really a two part die, which is really, um, really kind of fun. So I used some washi tape and attached my window to the front of my base card. And by the way, I'm using paper from Echo Park. So this is their Summer Dreams paper pad. So I'm going to use my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And I'm going to place my image in between my cutting plates right here. And cut this out really quickly. Just run that back one more time just to make sure. I've used a double uh, paper on here, so I'll make sure that I've cut all the way through that. And I can take my die out of here, and I have. So you can see we have the little window cut out. And all we have to do now is adhere uh, this little piece. So I just cut this out um, with another die, with the other die that comes in the set, and now I'm ready to attach it to my base card. So I will do that with my adhesive. And then I can place it right over that opening, and it will just line up just like so. And the little shutters open, and you can see that the inside of the card will be where we have our little watercolored image. 
So what I wanna do is make sure that I can't see any of that detail, so I can't see any of the sentiment. So kind of position it over like this and just kind of hold it in place. Add some adhesive to it and just close my card and press down on that. And I've got my little uh, watercolor image inside and I can see when I open my shutters, there's a little scene inside just like this. So let me show you what else we have in that line. Here's a few more. These are some of our newest releases. This is the Eagle's window. This is the deer window. This is the little be joyful window, the little cat looking out the window. So fun, these are so great for uh, any, any occasion when you don't really know what to say on a card. Uh, these are great because that little sentiment is already included. This is the oh sing window, the peace window. This is the one that we just used. And this one, the shepherd window. So love these. And like I said, there are dozens and dozens in this line of uh, stamps. We'll be constantly be adding to those and you can get them all at scrapbook.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting.